right guys welcome back once again to another training video i think at this point i'm going to be doing these pretty regularly for you guys since uh like i mentioned in the previous video this is going to be my focus for the next uh four months leading up to this next show uh first time in seven years being on stage and everything's going perfectly uh at, at this point in life so um i just knew it was time for me to get back on stage so when i want it i go for it so um, as far as the training goes in this, this is chest and triceps. Now I didn't get every single clip in here um, for a couple reasons. I mean, a lot of times if I'm training in a specific area in the gym and there's other people around, just out of respect, I don't, um, I try not to do any filming while other people are there because you know, some people are just, they don't want to be on camera and I totally understand that. So um, if it's relatively quiet in an area, um, that's where I'll take matters into my own hands and get the camera set up or I'll hand it to hand it off to one of my buddies that happens to be there and have him shoot a couple videos for me while I'm doing my exercises. So what you're seeing right here is I've been using the uh, hammer strength machines lately, um, especially for these next couple weeks, just to kind of let my joints heal up. Um, I went back to just strictly um, once a week training uh, per muscle group uh, that always seemed to serve me best. So um, for a while I was, I'd have one heavy day wait three or four days for the muscle to recover and then I would hit it with a higher volume or higher rep approach and um, history keeps repeating itself I just I can't handle that type of training the once a week um, just going heavy and hard lower volume lower rep range and um, you know just making sure that I stick to my guns with as far as uh, limiting my sets more is definitely not better at this point because I am 40 years old so um, 26 plus years of bodybuilding has definitely done a lot of wear and tear on my body, especially for how hard I've been pushing all these years. So um, for me, at this point, less is more and just a lot better quality. That's what I got to aim for. But um, yeah, so these next couple weeks, I was um, going to focus on just doing some hammer strength stuff. Usually my go-to when I kick off chest training would be a um, decline. Barbell decline is my go-to. That's my favorite exercise for chest out of everything that I do. It just um, it targets my it targets my chest the best out of everything. It keeps a lot of that excess strain and pressure off of my front delts, which in the, you know historically in the past would always happen from doing like flat benching and stuff like that. And um, you know these days it's been several years uh, since I've been using the uh, flat bench for anything. I just get a lot more bang for my buck and I hit the target muscle a lot more um, effectively on a decline so that's usually what my go-to is but like i said i'm giving um giving my joints a little bit of a break on that because they definitely with the free weight stuff they do um take a little bit of a beating so um yeah i was just focusing on doing a little more hammer strength stuff so now you'll see um doing a set of push downs for you guys i didn't get like i said i didn't get everything on video i tried to get as much as i could so like i say today was <clears throat> chest and triceps and then i threw in some ab work at the end so I'll do uh, at least 100 reps with this ab wheel rollout. And um, it's dependent on how many sets it takes. It could take, if I could get it in four sets, three sets, five sets, whatever it is. Um, I think on this this particular day, I ended up getting getting it in five total sets. So I think my first set was, we got 30 reps and it was like 25, then 20, 20, 15, whatever it was. Um, just until I complete the 100 reps and I move on to the next exercise. So the exercise that followed from this point on, um, I go over to cable crunches. And I like to do everything from a um, very functional position, standing position, not too much um, into laying on my back and doing old school crunches like I used to when I was younger. It's just the way my back is feeling, you know, I, still got a, I still got a couple of nagging injuries that are bothering me just from all the years of sitting in my chair playing guitar that's actually what got me to um, having some sciatic nerve issues and things like that it's just from um, being in that position uh, raising one of my legs up to play in favor and leaning towards you know one uh, one side of my body when I play guitar all those years sitting in a chair playing and stuff so it's led to uh, some of the wear and tear that I have currently in my my lower back on the uh, one side, which would be my right side and um, I'd be a hypocrite to say that all the years of uh, the heavy squatting and deadlifting um, Didn't contribute to any of that because it most certainly has I mean just everything as a whole 
Not to mention what I do for work as a, uh, for a living. My drywall finisher, I'll hang to a lot of times, and I also paint as well. So just a lot of repetitious work of um, not only physical labor, but definitely a shit ton of labor in the gym all these years. And then, um, yeah, the guitar playing to go with it, playing metal, it's a very, very demanding task. And um, definitely can beat up your body for sure. And um, what I've been doing to just kind of, just to kind of mitigate some of the um, injuries that have occurred over the years that have um, happened, I have a inversion table set up in my living room that I visit quite often. Once I try to do it at least once a day and hang for a good five minutes or less, just depending on how I feel that day. I just try to let everything stretch out. And then after my workouts, I like to just hang from uh, one of the pull-up bars, just let everything pull and just kind of stretch out. Um, I do co incorporate a little bit of foam rolling as well, but I don't, I don't do, I don't, I don't really focus on that too heavily, but I do use it sparingly because you can actually mess yourself up even more if you do that too often and depending on what you got going on. So, um, currently, like I said, sciatic nerve and C7, C8 vertebrae, which I ended up, um, injuring myself like roughly around five, six months ago when I woke up for work one morning. And I um, went to stretch like you normally would in the morning where you just stretch your arms out, you stretch your back. And as soon as I did that, it was just a very loud pop in the room and it echoed and I felt it immediately. My hands started tingling. And um, yeah, I still, I'm still currently dealing with a little bit of that. You might even notice in the video, if you pay close attention, um, that right side, I can see it. Um, other people say they can't see it, but I certainly, you know, <laughs> living in myself for all these years, I can see when something's not right. And um, my forearm has, since it's not getting all that 100% proper uh, blood flow to the area because the nerve is still damaged, um, it, my forearm has gotten a little bit smaller on that side. But um, fortunately, even with it still kind of um, on the tingly uh, side where it's still a little bit numb, my grip strength has been coming back. My guitar playing has improved because that was like one of the, <laughs> that was one of the shittiest things I had to go through is um, just trying to play guitar again because I had to go for several weeks without playing and um, anytime that I'd pick the guitar up to try to play again, I couldn't hold on to the pick all the way and I'd be dropping the pick and it was just, it was very frustrating, um, especially when I was spending all those weeks on the couch and couldn't go to work and uh, certainly couldn't sleep. That's how bad it was. Anytime I moved, it was just excruciating pain. And my only chance of um, any kind of rest that I could get, any kind of sleep, was just a bunch of icy hot. And then once the icy hot would wear off, I would wake right back up. So it was it was a very grueling several weeks to uh, just try to get through that initial first period of uh, my body starting to heal. And then I did go see a chiropractor a handful of times, maybe seven or eight visits, something like that. And um, that certainly started to help, but I'm not all the way out of it just yet. Training that you're seeing right now, I'm just kind of narrating this as, um, as I'm talking to you guys, obviously, and watching the video at playback. So what I'm doing right now with these cable crunches, this is um, like a serratus form for the intercostals and the serratus. And um, I like to use these. I learned this years ago from a buddy when I was um, like getting ready for my first couple shows and he swore by this exercise. Uh, basically, it's almost like you're mimicking, if you were to do like on stage, you do the um, alternate version of a abdominal and thigh pose and you just, you just move down partially part of the way and just keep tension on there. And you, you gotta kind of um, kneel down a little bit when you do it, depending on how high you can set the uh, cable up. And if they're too low to the ground, then you gotta adjust a little bit more. But um, I try to, you can see the way I'm holding on to that, um, that attachment too. Just to get that little extra inch, um, I'm just gripping above the uh, handle just so I can get a little bit extra stretch on there because yeah, when that, when that um, pulley system, when that hook is too close to the ground or too close to you, you can't get that same stretch. So uh, yeah, I just try to gain any, um, any extra inch or two that I can get when I'm using these and doing this exercise. But on this exercise, I did three sets of, uh, I think I was doing sets of 20 to 25 reps with these per side. And then also with the standard cable crunches, I was doing three sets around 20 to 30 reps and I just kept increasing the weight. 
So that is going to do it. We're right at the tail end of um, this workout video. And I'll just keep uploading more as um, time goes on as I keep getting ready for the show. Appreciate all you guys. Take care. Have a good one.